Hey there Wastelanders, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll going to be talking about one of the most important aspects of surviving in Fallout 4, having the best possible rifle. If you're struggling to take down those tough enemies, or just looking to upgrade your arsenal, you've come to the right place. I brought some cool rifles today, so please don't leave in the middle and watch the video until the end. And I would be very grateful if you click the subscribe like button before watching the video, then let's start. The first mod to introduce is BH Gewehr 43 Battle Rifle. The BH Gewehr 43 Battle Rifle is a mod that adds an iconic World War II infantry weapon to the game. The mod includes custom first and third animations, models, and textures, making the weapon feel unique and immersive. The mod is also compatible with Tactical Reload, allowing players to perform reload animations based on the amount of bullets left in the magazine. Additionally, the mod is compatible with Side Aim Framework with custom candid animations, which enhances the weapon's aim for an improved gaming experience. Players have the option to choose from 3 sight options, 12 muzzle options, 2 magazine options, 2 ammo options, 4 base material options, and 9 furniture material options. The damage modifier can be adjusted as well, providing players with a customizable combat experience. For players who prefer a more structured gameplay, an optional file for the level list is available. The weapon starts spawning when the player reaches level 20 and can be bought from traders or crafted at the chem lab under the weapon G43 category. If you enjoyed the mod, the creator asks for an endorsement to show your support. Overall, the BH Gewehr 43 Battle Rifle mod adds a unique and exciting new gameplay element to Fallout 4. The second mod introduced is the Lever Action Shotgun. The Lever Action Shotgun mod for Fallout 4 brings a classic weapon to the game, the Winchester and Browning High Capacity Repeating Shotgun. This mod comes just in time for some Valentine's Day carnage, as you blast liquid metal synths from your motorcycle. The weapon is fully customizable with plenty of attachments and ammo types, including bullet-counted reload and munitions support. The Lever Action Shotgun also features custom animations that make using it feel realistic and immersive. The weapon is injected into the game after level 10 and can be found around the wasteland on raiders, gunners, minutemen, and trappers from Far Harbor. It can also be purchased from vendors. For those who want a truly unique experience, the Lever Action Shotgun can be found in a back utility hall or Fallon's department store. So if you're looking to add some variety to your arsenal, this mod is a great choice. The third mode to introduce is the F4NV Laser Pistol. The F4NV Laser Pistol mod is a highly anticipated mod that adds the iconic AEP-7 Laser Pistol and its unique variant, Pew Pew, from Fallout New Vegas to the Commonwealth in Fallout 4. The mod brings back the AEP-7 laser pistol with its distinctive sound effects, a flash of light, and the unique smell of ozone, making it a must-have for fans of the original Fallout games. One of the most significant changes made in Fallout 4 was the combination of the laser rifle and laser pistol rolls into a single weapon, which many fans found controversial. With the F4 NV laser pistol mod, this is no longer the case and players can enjoy the classic gameplay of using a laser pistol in a Fallout game. In addition to the standard AEP-7 laser pistol, the F4NV laser pistol mod also includes unique variants from Fallout 3, adding more variety to the game's arsenal. Players can also find Pew Pew, a unique variant of the AEP-7 laser pistol from Fallout, New Vegas, which is considered one of the most powerful energy weapons in the game. The F4NV Laser Pistol mod has been highly praised for its attention to detail and faithful recreation of the AEP-7 Laser Pistol, complete with its iconic sound effects and animations. The mod has quickly become a favorite among Fallout fans, who appreciate the mod's ability to add classic weapons to the newer Fallout games. In conclusion, the F4NV Laser Pistol mod is a must-have for fans of the Fallout series. It adds the iconic AEP-7 laser pistol and its unique variants, including Pew Pew, 
to Fallout 4, allowing players to experience classic Fallout gameplay with modern graphics and mechanics. The attention to detail and faithful recreation of the weapon make it a highly recommended mod for anyone looking to enhance their Fallout 4 experience. The fourth mod to introduce is Another 1UO Automatic Rifle. The Another 1UO Automatic Rifle mod for Fallout 4 is an exciting new addition to the game that introduces a rare, experimental automatic rifle to the game's vast array of weapons. Unlike many other mods that add small patches or add-ons to the game, the UOAR is a completely new, lore-friendly weapon that adds depth and variety to the Fallout 4 experience. The UOAR is a unique weapon made up of a Ross rifle and a series of strange, experimental mechanisms, giving it an unusual and distinctive appearance. It is an extremely rare weapon that is not commonly found in the game world, making it a highly coveted prize for players who manage to acquire it. One of the most significant features of the Another One UO Automatic Rifle mod is the number of modifications available for the weapon. These modifications include various visual changes that allow players to customize the rifle to suit their needs and playstyle. Additionally, the mod includes custom animations for the rifle in first, third, and power armor third-person views. To ensure that the mod is stable and easy to use, the Another One UO Automatic Rifle mod is ESL, which means that it is optimized to not eat up the game's plug-in budget of 256 mods. The mod is also BA2 archived, ensuring that it is easy to install and use for players of all skill levels. The Another One UO automatic rifle can be found in the parking level of Fort Hagen, where players have a chance to stumble upon this rare and unique weapon. After 200 years, the UOAR will finally see the light of day, and players can add it to their arsenal to take on the dangers of the Commonwealth. The fifth mod to introduce is Another One NDR Rifle. The Another One NDR Rifle mod is an exciting new addition to Fallout 4, introducing an extremely rare experimental rifle to the game's vast array of weaponry. Unlike many other mods that add small patches or add-ons to the game, the NDR is a completely new, lore-friendly weapon that adds depth and variety to the Fallout 4 experience. The NDR rifle is a unique weapon that features a mix of the appearance of the G3, the STG mechanisms, and the power of the new Soviet Chinese intermediate cartridge. As an extremely rare experimental rifle, the NDR is not commonly found in the game world, making it a highly sought-after prize for players who manage to acquire it. Like the Another One UO automatic rifle introduced earlier, this mod includes custom animations for the rifle in first person, third person and power armor third person views, and is in ESL. Players can find the Another One NDR rifle on the roof of Fort Hagen, in the hands of a desperate soldier. While the rifle may be challenging to obtain, its unique appearance and power make it a must-have for players looking to add variety to their Fallout 4 gameplay experience. Well, that's all for today's video, folks. I hope you found this guide helpful in your quest to find the best rifle in Fallout 4. Remember, it's not just about having the biggest gun it's about finding the one that suits your playstyle and helps you take on the challenges of the wasteland. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more gaming content. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, please let me know in the comments below. And if you want to see these rifles in action in real time, you can check out this previous live stream. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.